Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to get a uh, third party car into dev mode so that you can use it to create ARW files rather than just the skip barber. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this FIA GT3 that's installed, the BMW, and we're going to pop it into our vehicles directory, load it up, make some changes, load it up, uh, and then also make sure that we've got the sounds for the car working as well. Um, so what I do is the same thing I do with um, typically with my the circuits that I'm working on. I'll create a generic car name folder with maps and teams folders in it. They're the only two that you need. Um, and I'll copy that and place it here. And then we'll rename it. We'll just give it a um, uh, just a quick name for now, so we can identify. So we can identify it. Wow, finger's not working. Uh, until we've identified exactly what the folder should be called. So we've got that, we'll go in there um, and we'll copy this location just so that we can use it in our GMAS utility. So we'll go into our GMAS utility now and we'll go file open. Uh, we're there already but you know you just, you just paste it in, hit enter and go there and we'll grab the sounds. Now the sounds we're going to extract somewhere else. So we'll go open we will edit select all and then we'll go extract and this time we'll navigate to our rfactor2 directory mod dev and then the sounds folder and we're going to create a folder in here so once you've selected sounds new folder and we'll just call it um, Bentley for now off and back on again so we've got it selected and we'll go OK so that's now extracted we'll go file open we're in the same location still we'll select our main mass file here or rather the mass file um, and then we'll go it's got GMTs and DDS files in it so we'll go select all extract scroll down until we get to our uh, vehicles folder and the Bentley folder that we've done and we'll just stick this in the maps folder under Bentley for vehicles. It'll take a second and then we'll go file open. We'll select the main and this is very much like the tracks. This will sit in the base directory um, alongside the maps and teams folder. So we'll go select all, extract and just go into Bentley. That'll do and then we'll go file open and we'll grab the last one which is the teams and obviously that goes in the teams folder so we'll open that one we'll edit uh, select all extract scroll down until we get to bentley and then we'll go into teams and extract that one to teams so we're done there now we can close that out and start working on the files themselves so under bentley we've now got everything extracted into maps teams and then all the uh, the dot main that we had before so we want to be working in the dot gen file so let's open that this will basically tell us where to look for everything so obviously these folders don't exist mass and shaders and we also do not have a main C maps one as well so what we need to do is this is the name of the actual folder that it's referencing typically in the mass file so this is what I mean by we'll just call it Bentley for now and then we'll pop this in later so I've copied that we will minimize that and we'll go up a level we'll go to Bentley we'll rename that that folder that's easier than renaming everything in the, uh, the gen file and we'll leave that like that that like that we will change this one to maps and we'll change this one to Teams. And then what I typically do is I'll copy these three here and I'll place them down here again. But this time I will remove the vehicle directory like that. And the other thing too is we need to reference the cmaps.mass file too. So I've got that in another file just quickly, but that's basically what you need to stick at the end there. Mass file equals cmaps.mass. That's done. Now, when we close this and save it, 
typically it'll dump us out to wherever um, just grab this folder location again pop it in here navigate there and then just remove the .txt file and save over the top Yep. so that's done just open that again to make sure and as you can see that's exactly as we left it now the other thing we need to do is make sure that we can actually hear the car in game when we're racing so this you'll be able to figure out what the folder needs to be called if you go into your the same um, folder we were for the .gen file and we go to the bengt 3 soundssfx file this here is the name of the folder that you need to create under the sounds directory because as you can see here is the web file name and here again the web file name but under the sounds folder so we'll copy that close that out we'll go up a level here and back into sounds and where we had Bentley we will just rename it that now the other thing you need to do to make sure that in um, in your dev mode you're going to be actually accessing these sounds rather than the default sounds for the game is go into your RFM folder and go to alltracks.rfm and you need to look for uh, these config overrides find your there'll be a file here or double slashes here this will be slashed out like this unslash those and come at them rather and then basically put in the path I've um, done the full path here to the sounds directory under mod dev so that's this location here that we were just in before so just copy that out and pop that there making sure that you have uncommented vehicle sound close that and save it and now you should be ready to jump into dev mode I'll fire it up select the um, Bentley and run some laps so I'll just wait for our factor 2 to load up we'll jump in and have a quick look see you soon okay so we're in our factor 2 um, we have got the cars selected here and as you can see up here we now have the AM GT3 and if we plus this out you'll see that the Bentley GT3 is there and pick that one, that M Sport, and we'll hit race. And if all goes well, the track that I'm working on will load up, and we'll be able to use the Bentley to do some laps. Um, so we'll just wait for it to load up. There we go. We're in. Okay. Let's click race. Make sure we can hit the car start, which we can. And um, now we'll be able to create a new ARW file using this car. So I hope that was helpful everybody. If it was, uh, please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll be sure to upload more content soon. Thanks everyone. Bye.